Good morning. Good morning. First day of 12 days of keto. I am so excited about it that I actually put hot sauce on my eggs today because I'm feeling a little bit spicy, all right? I'm also sending out the mom to the children group text to update everyone's favorites. You gotta remember, like, what is your favorite color this year? What what movie are you into? What TV show are you watching? Uh, what food would you like me and daddy to have for Christmas? Like, you don't wanna get it wrong. Right. And remember like, oh, you like chicken best. No, I hate chicken now. Like, I have to update this. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time I'm feeling a little saucy, you'll be alerted to it. So it is the first day of 12 days of keto. Anthony's so about happy. to come walking through here as he gets ready. And uh, I'm excited. Now this year's, I know you're gonna be seeing this first vlog of 12 days of keto after it right. starts, but just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you hit the bell button for notifications because this year there's a lot going on so there's different times in the past we've done like the same time every day but this year uh we had to change things up because we're going to universal and to see jenny go dock diving one day so we have to do it later that day there's Grand another day where we have some other things so most of the time it's going to be 6 p.m., but there are a few days where it is 8.30 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. Including on our normal live stream days of Thursdays. Just keep it exciting. Yep. So today... I need a fork. Oh, I'm sorry. Today's Thank sponsor... You. Again, it's already passed when you've seen this, but today's sponsor is Ice Chest. Don't tell past you. <laughs> we want it to be a surprise. We love these Ice Chips. Really There's a do. link down below. That'll get you... Uh, Free shipping. They yeah. do free shipping. Uh, but we absolutely love these. We're really appreciative to them and all of the sponsors who are giving things to give away. You know, they're not sponsoring the video with money. They're sponsoring the entire live stream each day with giving us something to give away to you to say thank you to you guys. Yeah, that's that's sponsorship. Yeah. So uh, today I have a couple of houses to cut. Uh, I have some good news for you. Okay, what's the good news? But you may not think it's good news. It's mm. good news, but it's not good news. Mm. Our new website is up. So here's what I need it you is? to do while I'm cutting is okay. I need you to go through the entire website and see what kind of changes need to be made so that I can get on the phone with Cindy and we could make all of our changes. Now, if you guys are going through the website and you come across something like a misspelling, yeah, let us or know. this is out of place or something like that, let us know. Just send us an email at either Joe or Rachel at twocrazyketos.com and let us know, hey, as I was going through the website, I found this. Also, if you go into the shop section, you're gonna find that we are now offering some personal coaching, some macros, some accountability partner, things like that. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and do that. We're gonna add some things as it goes on, but we're just trying this out because some people have messaged us as like, hey, do you have any kind of program where you can help me with my macros or help me yeah. with accountability? Coaching wise, you're gonna get two different people yeah. and you're gonna notice on there that there is a couple of options. You can have a Joe and Rachel session, you can have a Rachel session, or you can have a Joe session. Now, if you want any kind of coaching, here's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get Rachel going, you can do this. That is encouragement. You're awesome. And I'm gonna tell you, do the right thing. I mean, <laughs> now, some people need both. I need both. I need the person to crack the whip on me, but then at the same time saying, but you can do this. You know who's been really good with that in my life? Who? Bronson. Oh, absolutely. Bronson is the, put down the soda, Joe. 
you're gonna do really well though, right? That's, he's, and you're gonna get that between the two of us. He's amazing. I mean, if you're smart and you want any services, you, you'll go to Joe. <laughs> like I I am encouraging, but like I don't know how helpful I am. You are super helpful. You're encouraging to me every single well, day. thanks Joe. So yeah, we're really excited about the new website, the new look to the website. The biggest thing that this new website is going to bring, there's a lot of similarity, but there's some differences, but it's going to bring speed. It's not going to take like five minutes for, for something to, to upload. load up and things like that. And we've got some more things coming down the pipe with it. So I'm really excited about that. You want your gift? I know Anthony and I have to go cut it. So there's your present. Here's yours. Okay. I need a piece of bacon. You need to fuel this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. So mine got eaten last year and you replaced them. Thank you. Perfect day. How am I going to get things done without my Christmas tree glasses? Ooh. This, speaking of fueling your day. We got Sims. This is actually really good. I've had this before. Yeah, these are all, I got all of these from Aldi. Orange blossom beef jerky. Ingredients, beef, soy sauce, water, wheat, which is, the soy sauce is made with water, wheat, soybean, salt. Then we have brown sugar, orange juice, rice vinegar, rice vinegar, um, invert sugar, whatever that means. I think it's like the seasoning. Ground, fresh, chili paste, ginger, orange extract, alcohol, natural oil, water, uh, granulated garlic contains wheat and soy. So there is two carbs in a serving. There's two and a half servings in this bag. And uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of sugar in it, but you know I what? I it'd be something On fun. the road, I'm good with that. 10 grams of protein, only one gram of fat. Oh, these are really good. Epic Sriracha Chicken Bites. Chicken, sea salt, dried garlic, paprika, crushed red pepper, dried onion, red pepper, black pepper, salt, cumin, and oregano. Three and a half grams of fat, You're 11 grams of guy. protein, two grams of total carbs with two grams of fiber. And there's two and a half servings. You got this at Aldi? I didn't. What, all these got epic? They must have just had like a dip in, you know what I mean? Wow. For these are really holiday good. Holiday stuff. Really good. And then we've got... Uh, Sims habanero carne and air dried beef. So the ingredients in this are beef, vinegar, salt, contains 2% or less of garlic, onion, citric acid, orange, lime juice, natural flavors, spice extractives, including paprika, habanero, chili powder, natural citrus flavor, sugar, celery, salt, cayenne pepper. There's four servings in this bag, 90 calories per serving, three grams of fat, 15 grams of protein, zero total carbohydrates. I think that um, if you enjoy those though, it's probably too late to get a second bag. <laughs> well, it's Aldi, right? Here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> Seriously. So we're having some breakfast, two eggs, three slices of bacon, cup of coffee with a half a tablespoon of butter each and one egg each because we've got now seven girls laying eggs. So we're getting plenty of eggs. Of course, now I found out we have three Easter egg chickens and only one of them is giving us colored eggs. You don't the get to choose. The other two are giving us brown slash pinkish eggs. But yeah. I, I was really hoping for green and blue. One of them is supposed to be an Oliver. And I think that we are actually getting the olive eggs from the olive egg, egg eater or egg layer. Okay. But the other ones that were supposed to be giving us green and blue, no, they decided to give us brown Not eggs. so much. That's okay. We'll, we'll take what they give us. You know what? This, it just makes it look pretty. It's not like it affects the taste or anything like that, but they're all still really, really tiny. So I'm really excited about it. How did you enjoy your fireplace last night? It was so stinking nice. It wasn't the coolest evening, which is fine. I just want the ambiance. And I will say that I really love that that particular one doesn't put out a bunch of smoke. Like mm -hmm. it's designed for that too, right. because the, the thing that I don't like about campfires and the one thing that like we kept moving chairs around when we were on our camping trip was like smoke. Yeah. So we do get a lot of wind and stuff right. here, you know, all, all during the year. And so I'm glad that we don't have smoke. Yeah, with that fireplace, so when you first get it started, you obviously have smoke. You're always gonna have that. But it's interesting, the bigger you make the fire, the less smoke you will have. What? Because if you have it, if the entire fire and all the logs are like way, way down low, you'll get a little bit of smoke. But if you do build up that fire, 
uh, you won't really get much smoke out of it. And I just found out, we were searching everywhere. It's hard to find firewood here in well, South Florida. That's what I was going to say. What I really liked about it, because we have the fire table too, which we put um, on the other side, which is kind of nice, but it's like the crystal glass right, propane. things, but it's propane. And sometimes propane can be a little bit challenging to find. Well, it's expensive the right the now. Prices. It's doubled the price. Yeah. So um, it was really nice to have the fire and to have wood with a scent to it. Yeah. We've never had fancy wood before. Yeah, that's juniper wood. It was nice. So yeah, I found out that there is a firewood supplier what? just 10 minutes away from us and they supply like all the pizza ovens and things like that. And you can buy it on a pallet. I don't know how big that is. I'm gonna look. Uh, but you can buy it by the bag for $5 a bag. And they have all different $5 kinds. A $5 bag? a bag. That seems really reasonable. And they, and they have cherry wood and apple wood. They have a couple of pine woods. They have oak. So what? I'm going to stop there today and get us a bunch of firewood. Because I have a feeling somebody is going to want a lot of fire. Oh, yeah. I'm in. So I meant to ask you, how was your taste today? It's a little bit better. So... Of course, I web emptied my situation, but the last couple of days, I've been super sensitive to taste. You like, thought some of our meat tasted like like fart. Yeah, like <laughs> it was, everything I was eating tasted very farty, and I don't know why. Like it was just, it felt like even beef tasted like too much beef. My coffee yesterday. I wound up. You didn't drink coffee. I didn't drink it up because it was like, ooh, that's too strong. Which I was like, I knew something was wrong at that point because it's not that I got a bad piece of meat or I got a bad egg, but I knew there is no such thing as a bad cup of coffee. So I was like, what is going on that I have such sensitivity to taste? So of course, our first reaction was, are you pregnant? Am I pregnant? <laughs> Because, I mean, you know, BBB and E, it's a total, you know, miracle possibility. But, um, no, it looks like another thing that you can have when you are super, super sensitive to taste can be stress-related. And we've been under a lot of stress the last couple of days with getting the new campus for kids' it's ministry so ready. weird. So, that's a really weird thing. So, I think it's important for us, especially during the holidays... Not to judge flavors too harshly because I think everybody sort of goes through the holidays and has like an added element of stress that they right. don't normally have the rest of the year. So I'm trying my best to go to bed early, to get my electrolytes in, to drink lots of water, to take a walk. Sitting by the fire last night, I think was a real help. And we also watched The Mummy while bring, sitting in the hot tub. Which is my fave. Right, right? that I was really cool. Mummy. We had a fire going as we were sitting in the hot tub. It was really cool. It was really, really nice. And it just helped me to just calm down apparently. So yes, my breakfast tasted delicious and I'm happy about that. I got a present for you. <gasps> Is it Buffalo Wild Wings? Obviously, because it's a Buffalo Wild Wings bag. Of course, I Anthony said, you want to see the lights? I was like, where are they outside? And he was like, yeah, where would they be? Inside? This looks good. Why do you why do you smell like, like a cleaning pollution or something or grease? I'm working on my truck trying to figure out why am I not getting the gas mileage I used to get. And... Uh, I've brought it down to a couple of things. Number one, spark plugs, which it shouldn't be the spark plugs because I only have 50,000 miles on the car, but I'm probably mm. going to change them out anyway. But there's 16 spark plugs on that car at $10 a spark plug. The other thing is I talked to a Ford tech, a friend of mine, and he said, add seafoam through the vacuum line very slowly. Is that what I'm smelling? And that's what you're smelling. But now that I've done that, it's got to sit in there. And then after I eat, I got to go take it for a ride. And remember when we got rid of the th F-350 diesel, the mm -hmm. big giant thing of smoke. Yeah. I'm about to smoke up this entire neighborhood. Oh, no. Because he said it's going to cause a tremendous amount of smoke. But that means it's doing its job. It's cleaning out everything. Like and an oven. When you clean out an oven, Yeah, but this is going to be really bad. Go to another neighborhood. And, well, too late. I already poured it in there. And then the other thing is, is it could be... Um, the fuel pump slash fuel filter and my truck doesn't have a replaceable fuel filter It's built into the fuel pump as a lifetime and the fuel pump on my truck is in the gas tank Which means I need to empty out the entire gas tank and then drop the gas tank to change out the pump So we're so gonna try we everything else first and then I'll resort to 
doing the fuel pump. I can do it myself. It just means running the car till it's almost empty because the thing does hold 34 gallons of fuel. So. You will be done for us to do the live stream tonight, right? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna do that part tonight. I don't even have the fuel pump or anything. So okay. I, I'm just gonna go take it for a drive and smoke up the entire Because I never know. You know, I mean, it could be that he just flips into the parking lot and then like runs in. Well, and... that's a possibility. Yeah. So I, I ran out to get mail from the post office. You came home with chicken wings? And I was like, you know what? I don't really feel like cooking. We have a couple burgers if we're still hungry after the live stream, but I have a feeling this is going to fill us up. Me too. And somebody gave me a gift card for Buffalo Wild Wings. So Thank even you. though it's not buy one, get one day, I decided to get 30 wings. So we have 15 wings apiece. Got them completely naked. No sauce, no seasoning, no nothing, no blue cheese. Brought them home. We love them this way. A stick of butter, mm -hmm. a bunch of Frank's Red Hot, so I'd put them in the air fryer just for a couple minutes to kind of crisp them up more. They're incredible. Melted the butter, add the Frank's Red Hot, not the wing sauce, the straight Frank's Red yeah. Hot, and then uh, tossed them in there and then put a little bit of the Redmond's lemon pepper on top it's of that. It's so good. I'm so glad we did beef butter baked in eggs, if for no other reason than to get our wings like this. Mm. It's good. Um, really good. You know, I love Buffalo Wild Wings. They do fry their wings in tallow, mm -hmm. which makes them really good, but then their sauces all have canola oil in them. Right, which is not great. So I'd rather just do it my own, on my own with butter and Frank's Red Hot. I like butter better anyway. Butter's better. So we're gonna eat, I'm gonna go smoke up the neighborhood, and then we have day one of the 12 days of keto. Boom. Excuse me, can you please explain to me what this is? It looks like fallen pancakes. What is this? I don't want to share it because I don't want to trigger anybody, but it probably won't trigger anybody. In fact, this is the best shot of you staying keto ever. Like you will, you will eliminate this craving. So the kids, Anthony and Sarah, so graciously decorated the outside of our house with lights, like awesome. During that decorating, we discovered that we have a terrible termite infestation. So that's great. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, but to say thank you, I thought I'll do like the mom thing, which is make cookies to say thank you. So I I just did the break and bake because that like I don't know how to make cookies because for real, so easy, even Rachel can make it is a thing. So um, I tried to make break and bake sugar cookies that they could decorate, failed miserably, had to throw them out, super ashamed. And I thought, no problem, I got a backup, you know, one in the refrigerator. So I made these and I don't know why I can't make it. It's like 350 degrees for nine minutes. Seems easy, seems easy enough. I, I have an oven, I, I have baking sheets, but that's not what it's supposed to look like. Right? You ready for the 12 days of keto? Let's do this. I'm so excited. I can't see any chat because I usually like to come in and just kind of see what everybody is talking about before we get started. Let's get started. Are these cooked all the way? Of course they're cooked. They look soft. They're not they're soft. soft. Good morning. Now what is this? This Coffee. Is, this is not enough coffee. Bacon. I've got eggs that are kind of look at this runny eggs and and coffee that is not you have a up. full cup of coffee right there what what are you looking at me for i already caught you sneaking a cup of coffee well, i was, was outside black. tending to the chicken it was black thank you <laughs> i did cook the bacon in the air fryer so i overcooked it because okay. Um, we got up and at the last minute we're like, Rachel's like, I would like some bacon. I'm like, sorry, I haven't heated up the pan yet. So what can I do? How can I do it quickly? Cook in the air fryer. It was fine for the first five minutes. And then I should have put it in for like two more minutes. And then I went outside. I can't find one of the chickens. And so what? it ended up cooking for another five minutes. Well, number one is we have not found a chicken. There's a chicken that I can't find. Unless she's laying somewhere right now that I don't know where she is, I can't find her anywhere. But there's okay. no sign of a struggle or feathers or anything right, like where that. You usually that's, that's know something's weird, wrong. weird, unless a hawk took her. But Ugh. I don't know. After we eat, I will go and look for her. Well, and... Number two, after we find our chicken, um, 
I don't mind crunchy bacon. It's snotty bacon that I can't handle. So it's like if it's mm. overdone. It's like not edible. I'm okay with overdone bacon. Mm -hmm. it's, it's underdone. And I guess underdone is probably better because you can fix it. But yeah, I'm overdone is fine. So it is Friday morning. It's going to be day two tonight for the 12 days of keto. Make sure you're following along. And uh, I don't even know who tonight's sponsor is yet. I haven't decided. Chris had said to me like, hey, when am I sponsored? I'm like, don't know yet. <laughs> You're keeping it a top secret thing. Yep. So on the docket for today, film a couple videos. Uh, finish up the kids ministry stuff for the Christmas series. I got to head over to the church. Oh, thank you. And uh, then, I don't know. I got to go through the website. There's some tweaking that needs to mm -hmm. be done on there. So again, if you find something that's not functioning let properly, us know. please let us know about that. What do you have on the dock? I've got today? Fearless Friday. We're going to tape some videos. Mm -hmm. And um, I have some wrapping of presents to do. For me? Maybe. Really? I'm getting presents? Well, you're going to get a present right now. Oh. How about that? How about we exchange a present right now? There you go. I'm really wanting, since we've got our lights up, I don't know if you can see, we've got some around the top of our cabinets. That's one of my favorite things, right. is lights inside the house. I love lights in the house. Do you put lights up in the house? But let's go on a walk, a Christmas walk. Yeah, we can do that tonight. Since the live stream's at six o'clock tonight, mm -hmm. we will have enough time after it. Oh, cool. I can never find my nail I know. clippers. Well. Now, I bought them new. I don't want you to think that they're used and they're just like loose in here, but the container they came in was very pretty, but it didn't fit in the bag. Oh, okay. So I took them out. Well, thank you. You're I welcome. can always use nail clippers. He is always And since I'm old, I always need like these. <laughs> Let me see what you got. Oh, wow. How nice. They're, cla they're um, facial wipes. Yeah. Thank you so much. And they're the fancy ones. These are name brand. Yeah. This ain't even Walmart brand. I know. This ain't even you're, Dollar you're, Tree. You're worth the 20% more. Wow. Thank you for today's that. Today's a twofer gift for you. A twofer? Yeah. Here you go. Because you're just going to take them from me anyway. I am not. <laughs> I am not. But I will put them. You know what? I will, to show of good faith, I have a little container for them. And I will put them in your in your um side table oh perfect yeah so then it's all yours your end table do you nail clippers in this house they're like scissors and socks no matter where you put them no matter where you hide them somebody finds them and then they never come back but this you bought a, me three of them this and a tweezers although i only ever use the big one yeah i only ever use the, the toenail, toenail one yeah but i when we were camping Caleb had like a toenail issue and needed a clipper and he's like here's a long shot do you have a toenail clipper in your RV I did he's like you're the best mom and I was like wow okay what else do I need to pack in this thing so that I always get that response from my kids that's my favorite thing you're the best mom because I had a toenail clipper so <laughs> just you know if you're prepping for 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 anything make sure you've got your toenail clipper Breakfast for today. I'm having two eggs. I don't want any bacon this morning. Rachel's having two eggs, four pieces of overcooked bacon, <laughs> coffee, one tablespoon of butter a piece, and then uh, one egg split between the two of us. And I got some hot sauce on mine. I don't know. I've just been feeling hot saucy lately. So Rachel got Tabitha. Her Christmas sweater. <laughs> She's got to dress up for Christmas too. Yes. She's like, what am I wearing here? She's so pretty. Doesn't she look pretty? She got a good bath today, so she smells delicious. She loves when she smells good. She doesn't like to smell dirty. Isn't that funny about her? Like, she she looks embarrassed once she first gets a bath. Like, I don't know why dogs play embarrassed after they get a bath. But then she feels like, I look so pretty and that smells so good. Don't you just want to love on me? Yeah, she likes it. You like your new sweater? Hers looks pretty. Is uh, her legs out of the back right? Oh, nope, she's just a really big dog. She's just big. It's okay. It's all right. I love that she has pockets. <laughs> I don't know what a dog would, would hold in it. But yeah, I feel like she'd bring treats for everybody. Don't you think? Like, I think she would just, that's what she'd have in her pocket. 
would be, what do you like best? Yes, what do you like best? Oh, yes. Oh, I love you. That dog is so big. I know. <laughs> we shall love now. So it's lunchtime and Anthony only made one out of the two ribeyes that I gave him last night. So the other one I've got for Rachel over here in the Anova Precision Oven in sous vide mode. And then I'm going to have a couple of burgers that I've got a little bit of seasoning on. And then also I found this grilling cheese out in the refrigerator. We bought this at that Carol's place when we were driving home from Kentucky. So the steak is done in the oven. It's up to temperature. It's at 128 degrees. I've got the Kamado Joe Jr. going with the soapstone in there. So we're gonna go ahead and sear a Rachel's steak on there and go ahead and prepare my burgers. And then I'm gonna take this grilling cheese, try to fry a couple pieces on the soapstone and see how it comes out. So first up is my burgers cause they're gonna take a couple minutes longer to cook over searing Rachel's steak. So got our soapstone here. We're gonna put a little bit of avocado oil on there and drop these burgers on. I like my burgers medium. So we're gonna cut these for about a minute and a half on each side. Let us know down in the comment section, how do you like your burgers? So this is Rachel's steak. It does not look very appetizing coming out of the CV, but we're gonna fix that. We're gonna first of all, take a paper towel and just kind of make sure that we get as much of the moisture off of there as possible so we can get a good sear. Then we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of the Redmond's organic garlic pepper, season it up just a little bit. Now we can take this and go put it on the soapstone. Okay, burgers are done, so we're gonna take these off. And we're gonna go ahead and flip this cheese. Oops, burnt it a little bit, but it worked. And now we're gonna put this steak on here. Sear that on each side for about 30 seconds and we're done. You're not gonna get a steak? I only have one because Anthony ate the other one. Aww. And you're giving it to me? I'm giving it to you. Thanks, baby. So I'm having a couple of burgers and Rachel's having a ribeye. Wow. From, from our cow. You're so nice And then to me. this here, wait, wait, let's try this first. So this, I found in the refrigerator. This was like frying bread cheese that I, remember we were in uh, Carol's in yeah. Kentucky? Oh yeah. So you dink put, it? It, put it on the soapstone and I didn't realize how quickly it was going to get that nice fry on the outside. So may have a little bit of a burnt taste. Mmm. It's good. That is really good. Mm -hmm. I actually liked a little bit of a char on the outside. So, wow. Yeah, sorry that I overcooked it. I didn't expect it to cook that quickly. It's delicious. Ooh, these burgers. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Came out perfect. So is my steak. Look at that. You're getting the hang of that. I'm, I'm getting really good at that. Your steak is cooked to medium rare, just like you like it. Mm. I'm so sorry you're not eating steak. That's okay. You want to half it? Nope, I want you to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. It doesn't have a farty smell. Are you past your farty taste? Is that gone? The stress is leaving the building. I think that sitting by the campfire at home every night mm -hmm. has really helped to bring my stress level down and bring my tastes back to where they should be. So you can enjoy steak. Yes, because if stress is gonna make me not enjoy steak, then we gotta make some changes, yo, <sighs> because it's important for me to enjoy my steak. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. It's good. If I could just learn to limit to myself to this little bit of cheese. <laughs> You'll be, be really great. Good. But yeah, really mm. good. Um, wow, I can't believe the day is flying by. You went to Kohl's. Did you find anything? I did. I found a wooden nativity set, which I know is weird. But we keep breaking we our keep like ceramic breaking ones. them. Yes, we've had like the porcelain ones. They're all wrapped up and they still come out all broken. They get all broken. And so I thought, well, I'm either gonna get the Fisher Price little kid one or I'm gonna get Melissa and Doug have a um wooden one. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna get those because then I won't worry about it. They make them very cute and pretty. And then I just know it's gonna survive through the years. I know what you're doing. You're planning on grandchildren. Well, I don't. So that they can play with it. Well, I mean, we've even had surfaces where like 
Tabitha didn't mean to, but her tail yeah. has knocked off and broken some oh, of yeah. my tchotchkes. Well, she's a horse. So I don't want her to get in trouble because I have all of these delicate things. Right. So I think this is a better option. I looked into one of those little people nativity sets. They're like $60 now. <laughs> what? So Melissa and Doug had one at Kohl's on sale for $25. And I was like, okay, I'm in. And I know it'll last forever. So that's one of those things that I'm going to, I'm bought with money that my mom gave me for Christmas. So I got to buy my own Christmas present, wrap my own Christmas present. And then bring it to her house. Bring it to her house so that I can um, open it in front of her and she'd and be, be like, surprised. You have wow. to act surprised. That's the key. We're, we're supposed to act, act surprised. Like we have no idea it's coming. Yep. That's part of the things that she wants us to act surprised when you open up your present that you purchased and wrapped, but it's all fun. <sighs> okay. We're going to eat because then we have to get ready for day two of the 12 days of keto. And I have to figure out who today's sponsor is. I just want to take a moment to say we are not doctors or health professionals of any sort or professionals of any sort. Clearly, obviously, we are not professionals. So I was just making some of the Maria Emmerich protein bread and I went to put my salt in and the whole top came off of my salt. This, this thing right here. So I just dumped literally this much salt. It was full to the top into one of the breads. What a waste of 12 egg whites. Lesson learned. Don't just dump it in. Actually measure it out the way you're supposed to. What are you doing? I am finishing off a hat for my friends, and I've learned a valuable lesson tonight. You have a red nose. Do not use all-day, long-lasting red lipstick as your Rudolph the Reindeer nose because it, like, this may be now Christmas. you really have a red nose. This may be for the entire rest of the holiday season. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson too. While you were trying to get that lipstick off of your nose, yeah, I was making two batches of the Maria Emmerich bread. Carefully separated 24 eggs. Right. Froze half of the yolks. The other half I'm using in some recipes. I made the first batch, got it in the oven. I'm trying it in the Innova Precision oven with some humidity to see how it comes out. Yeah. There it goes... Starting the second batch right now. Second batch? Well, because the second batch that I, I was doing it in two different batches. Oh, okay. In, you know, the, the mixer. And the first batch, I'm interested to see how it tries. It's, it's in the oven cooling right now. I added some dried dehydrated onion to it. Like to have kind of like that onion Bialy bread? kind of yes. flavor and see how it comes out. It may be horrible. I don't know. Well, it's worth but a shot. I used to love like Bialy's. You ever have those? Where I don't know what that word well, is. Well, it's kind of like a bagel, but it's usually flatter, but it okay. usually has like onion and stuff inside of the dough. I Instead am of in. just on the outside crust, like you would get like an everything bagel, it would be like on the inside. This doesn't so make me upset. I love I'm, that I'm flavor. curious to see how it tried, how it comes out. So I, I'm going ahead and I'm, I'm putting the egg whites into the stand mixer and I add in my cream of tartar and then... This is not your first rodeo. No. And then, so I don't usually measure out the salt. I just kind of take the shaker and yeah. dump it in there, right? I it. So I'm with my little white container shaking it in. The whole lid comes off. Oh no. And I dumped to buy entire bag. A half a container of salt in there. I mean, I like my salt, but you're talking about No. I put a half a cup of Redmond real salt in Please there. Please tell me you just threw it out. You didn't try I, to save anything. I threw it out. Cuz you can't save it. And worse than wasting a dozen eggs was the time that it takes to separate the eggs. Yeah. Now I know people are going to say that, you know, you can do it with just egg white powder, which is what I ended up doing cuz I wanted a second loaf. I don't like doing that because that egg white powder is very expensive. We're too cheap to do it you fast. You think about a dollar for a dozen eggs or about two fifty three dollars for using that extra egg white powder. So It's kind of like when the kids were little and you were deciding like, are you going to put them in pampers overnight? Right. The, the overnight pampers were like the fancy pants. Like... Yeah. How well do you want the kid to sleep, right? Because those things, I mean, I feel like you could put a swimming pool in them and they could go to sleep and be dry. I learned that 
with John Paul. So I was like cheap. Or you, you know, put them in Walmart diapers and like you don't know what's going to happen. Well, we did not have a lot of money when John Paul was born. We, I mean, you weren't around, but... I didn't have any money when Caleb was born. We so. didn't have a lot of money. So it was like how, how inexpensive could it be? I, there was a part of me that thought about, like, you know, the diapers that you have to wash. My mom did cloth diapers. I, I thought about doing cloth diapers. I did and not think about it. Maybe hiring a diaper service. And I'm like, yeah, no. The kid could porky pig it before I'm, like, washing in that. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we used the really cheap, like, Walmart diapers. And after, I would say, about three months, I was like, okay, we're going to use the cheap Walmart diapers during the day. I think it was Pampers. They were the cheapest ones. Oh, Pampers aren't Hello. cheap. Hello. Can't be Pampers. <clears throat> and um, after they, I remember how they had the Muppets on them. That, okay. That much I remember. But we did that, and then at night, I sprung for, like, the Huggies overnight, which were, like, five times the cost. But at least it kept his were, bum dry. You were certain. Going it didn't to leak, bed. and he was gonna sleep through the night. And then in the morning, I wasn't waking up to a diaper that exploded. Right? Oh, Did yeah. you ever have one of those explode? Oh yeah, of course. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Okay, enough diaper talk. What a great day. What a great live stream. We had no issues. Yes. There were no technical. I got a little worried when Carrie's going. It's. It's like the audio is horrible, but it turned like, out oh. he did what I have done in the past, which is Turn have two things on a second instance of the video running in the background. I've totally done that. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to relax the rest of the night. I'm honestly full from my, my dinner. Um, I was going to make a creamy, but I don't even think I want a creamy. I think that when the bread is cooled down, have a slice of bread. I'm going to have a slice of bread with a little bit of butter on when there. When it's nice and warm. Tomorrow, we're finally going to film the videos that we've been saying we were going to film for four days. We we have to film it before the broccoli goes bad again. <laughs> well, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way, every single time I knit, you'll be alerted to it. We're going to go try to watch Star Wars for the fifth night in a row. Bye. Bye.